front here we got a stiff water pump is what it is water pump shot on this it's like the Maytags on the Maytags the water pump may be over on this side this is basically Ward's design Maytag uses a similar design basically on the Maytags the motors here and the pumps here as I recall and if we take this belt loose on the bottom we'll find that that pump back there is going to be stiff and that's what the problem is let's take that back pump panel off to remove the pump There's your model number. Okay. And typically they'll when they heat up they'll they'll lock up. Sometimes when they'll cool down they'll be you'll be able to pump them out a little. But this one needs a water pump. In order to take this front panel off, basically there's these keepers right in here. You need a flathead screwdriver to go in there on each side, and then the top will pop up. And then you can take the two screws off the front panel. And, and then it's clipped in here. There's some screws that go up here. They're not actually in it. They just There's just a little sort of sleeve that pops up there inside here. Okay, so here's your pump. Right there. And take this belt loose. Okay, so we got the pump out. This is some sort of pump is bad. This bushing How to tell if that bushing is bad. When I dumped it out, pretty sure we can tell it, it seems to want to turn a little bit and it gets to a certain degree and it won't want to turn anymore. So that means to me that there's debris inside there. In fact, I can see it, I think I can see it in there plugging it up so what I'll do is I'll just take it apart take a maybe a, a coat hanger and put a loop in it try and hook any of that stuff out maybe flush it out with a garden hose okay so we did a little fishing I had to get a co uh, regular coat hanger to get a nice big loop in there to go fishing all kind of fishing I do these days. Anyway, there's a the clump I pulled out of it. So any kind of questionable stuff you put in your washing machine, these old rugs and things like that, throw rugs, and probably not a good idea. Uh, this one just sort of fell apart inside the wash and plugged up the pump and caused problems typically to throw rugs with the rubber stuff on the bottom will do this too as well you have rubber stuff on the bottom of your throw rugs you put it in your laundry 
the rubber comes off the bottom of the throw rug and gets plug plugs things up. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, since these pumps are notorious for run, uh, running that bushing out, we got a free uh, pump on it action now. But uh, we're going to stick a couple of drops of oil up in there, let it soak in there for a couple minutes, and then put it back together. Okay, so what we're going to do. Take couple, take a couple drops of Bill Super Mix. If you need some Super Mix, I sell the Super Mix in the Oiler Zoom Oiler bottle. Just take a couple drops down in there. Let it soak down there. You don't want too much. Just enough. Just enough to soak down there and get things lubed. So I sell the super mix with uh, my special mix of oil. It's not the typical Zoom oil. It's a special mix. It's twice as more efficient as the regular Zoom oil. If you're interested in it, it's only $19.95 for the bottle. Okay, so here's the rug. Yeah. And so we take a look at the sink. There's all the crap that came out of it. Out of the pump. The sink should actually have a screen in it. That should have a screen in it too. They should both have screens. If we put it on spin, it's coming out pretty good now. That's a good flow right there. So, just gonna put that there. Stop it from gathering any of those debris from that rug and keep it from plugging it. And that's your Montgomery Ward story. If you need any help, contact me at appliancesworks at yahoo.com. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. Bills Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Thank you.